How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right. First things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm gonna need to know what your role in your organization is. Jobless? What? How? Why? Uh, if you ain't out here on account of work, then might be you ought to explain. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Well, that's all well and good, but the reason you've come is secondary to the arbitration at hand. Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we as a standing policy provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm, but I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say she's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man, founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back, going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. Space, no. The contract doesn't target C3s. How do we enforce it otherwise? I might cold-blooded, ain't she, Donald? Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
I've had quite enough of you! Entering quiet mode. We cycle up to industrial stay. Sometimes violence is the only way. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. Awfully sensible for a businessman, aren't you? It's what I'm known for. Or what I'm usually known for, the occasional mishap notwithstanding. You haven't seen Constance, have you? 
Ah, there's her torso. And that'll be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. Means they're still holding the post then. Good. You might head on back. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. <laughs>